Hello everyone, welcome to Acing Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by Power Grid. So Power Grid job opportunities, as you can see, um, and uh, you can go to the official website and you can look out for the executive positions on all India basis. And uh, this is specifically for personals on contract basis for the position of field engineer, field supervisor uh, positions in various engineering domains. You can look out for the detailed notification over here as well. So this is your detailed notification, which is there on the official website advertisement number, as you can see, right? The date of the notification is 27th of August, 2025. And over here, um, you can see the tentative breakup of the vacancies. There are a lot of regions in which the vacancies have been released for electrical field engineer, civil field engineer uh, position is 487, 488, 489 electrical uh, field supervisor, electrical and civil both and field supervisor, electronics and communication as well. Now total number of vacancies which are released on the contract basis are 1543 vacancies have been released uh, over here. Now 532 vacancies uh, and 535 vacancies specifically for electrical engineering and 198 and 193 vacancies specifically for um, civil engineering students and 85 vacancies for elect electronics uh, students as well. Now the region which has been mentioned is you know, Northern Region NR1, Northern Region NR2, uh, Northern Region 1, Rajasthan area, uh, NR2, Northern Region 2, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, uh, Uttar, uh, sorry, this is Union Territory of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Chandigarh, and other Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, part of Uttarakhand as well. So they have bifurcated the regions as per their norms. So if you are interested in any, any of them, you can do apply. Like uh, considerations with respect to the physically handicapped students have also been mentioned in the notification. The upper age limit for all the positions is um, 29 years as on 17th of September 2025. Now for field engineer position electrical, the essential qualification is full time B, VTEC you need to have in electrical engineering. Other disciplines, uh, electrical power engineering, electrical and electronics, power systems, power engineering. So all of them, all of them can be included in this. You need to have one year of post qualification experience in design, engineering, construction, testing, commissioning, etc. in the rural electrification, distribution management systems or sub transmission and transmission lines, substations, etc. Right? Experience in PSU or listed uh, company, particularly in power sector, shall be preferred. Apart from that, for civil engineering, field engineer position, again, one year of post qualification experience in the same. and. Um, you need to have full-time BE, BTEC uh, in civil engineering and equivalence dis discipline is only civil, not, not civil structural or civil environmental engineering. Field supervisor electrical full-time diploma in electrical or equivalent discipline uh, from a recognized technical board institute. Higher technical qualification like BTEC with or without diploma is not allowed. So BE, BTEC is not allowed for these positions of field supervisor positions, right? Here, post qualification, one year of experience shall be considered. And apart from that, uh, name of the post, field supervisor, civil diploma, again, here again, B, B Tech or M Tech students will not be considered for these positions. One year of post qualification experience, you need to have um, field supervisor electronics also. If you have a diploma in electrical electronics, you can apply. And again, higher post qualification will not be allowed. One year post qualification experience and the same shall be considered. Now for field engineer, field supervisor, excluding, you know, RDSS project, the monthly pay scale will be 30,000 rupees plus 3%, 20,000 with uh, initial basic pay of 30,000, industrial DNS allowance, HRA and 35% of the basic pay. CDC will be 8.9 lakh rupees. And for field supervisors with, uh, will be paid monthly remuneration in the pay of 23 to uh, 23,000 and the base, you know, CTC will become as 6.8 lakh rupees approximately. Now, compensation for field engineers, field supervisors in the RDSS project also specifically they have mentioned some extra perks have been included in this. Right. Apart from that, the vacancies, okay, it's fine. Uh, but uh, you need to understand that these positions are on the basis of experience of the students, right? Experience shall be considered. This is for experienced students. One year post qualification experience minimum shall be considered. And also upper age limit has been mentioned three years, five years. And this is as per the government norms, not new in this. Right. 
apart from that it's a very detailed notification uh, 17 page notification if you want to look out for this um, you can just look out for this there are some relaxations on the experience as well right you can just consider that also some other information yeah we are in more interested about the selection process how the selection process will be there interested students and eligible students shall register on the official website and the written the test of this the scheme of the test will contain a technical knowledge test of 50 questions based on your diploma and degree aptitude test 25 questions will be there and uh, it will contain english reasoning quantitative aptitude and general awareness questions will be there all questions will be mcq type questions and they carry one mark each and there will be no negative marking in this entire examination and the score uh, in the written test will be valid for a period of one year from the data mentioned on the score right so yes examination is also easy if you are a student who has been preparing for any of the competitive exams you shall be able to clear this right and apart from that some health standards are required to be also consider and you need to provide the non-objection certificates of your previous organization as well so test centers will be in uh, Delhi, Bhopal, Kolkata, Bangalore, uh, Guwahati and Mumbai. These are the places will, there will be the test centers. Field engineer application fee will be 400 rupees and uh, field supervisors 300 rupees it will be there. And uh, the list of the documents have also been mentioned. Whatever the documents are required you can just look out for that as well. Right, all the basic documents which are necessary shall be considered your experience also, degrees as well, uh, photographs and everything shall be also considered. So I am just looking out for the last date of the application process. And uh, that will be deemed necessary for us. Yeah, so important days. So opening date will be 27th of August, last date is 17th of September and cutoff date will be September, uh, for age set 17th of September and date of the examination will be notified on the official website. So yeah, that's it from this notification. If you find this notification as helpful and it will be useful for you, then go to the official website and you can read it out in detail as much as you, as you like. And if you think this video will be helpful for any of your friends do share it with your friends like this video subscribe to our channel thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video